Just get them all. Why would you just throw them? Don't give them all. Come on. Yeah, I saw that rubber band on your finger. It looked like it was all bloody. So I'm trimming the paper to make it more smoother. Did you say more smoother? More smoother. <laughs> more smoother. Oh, man. More smoother. <laughs> Instead of using the foam board circles we cut for the wheels, we used styrofoam circles. Hot glue is ready. Alright, you can see that we are gluing it back because we bought a pre-made one. Alright, right now we are cutting the box into a triangle shape because that's what we wanted. We got four hands holding a ruler. And Stuart is bleeding. <laughs> Tape on it to make it all one object. And so the wheels aren't moving around when the car is going. And we're gonna attach a rubber band right here. Okay, now Justin and Ian are putting in metal wire to hold the axles uh -oh. on the bottom of the car for them to rest in while the rubber band spins them and they're gonna be attached on the other side and flip up to hold it in place. Okay, right now we have two wheels and no wheel in the front, but it still works pretty sweet. It goes about 15 feet. Or Well, we decided that zip ties are much better than galvanized wire because it is way too uh, malleable, so we decided to use zip ties and... Okay, earlier when we were making our car, uh, this axle or dowel wasn't secured down, so when we let the car go, it would turn everywhere. So we glued it down, and it's still drying, so it's going to stay straight from now on. Alright, ready? Ian, move. Let's go. Oh yes, that was, oh, oh, oh. That was la G. Okay, so last time our car went over 20 feet, so we're trying to make it 10 exactly. Alright, let's measure this. Half, one, two, three. Man, that was so legit. Alright, that was 